everybody, this is Scott and Tony with Scared City Productions. Uh, we've got a couple of unboxings that we're going to be doing today. Uh, but before we get into it, uh, I would like to say if you could uh, go and like the video to help give the YouTube uh, algorithms or algorithms or however you say it. I don't know. Not good words. But uh, if you do that so we can actually get, get this out there to a little more folks. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to us, uh, please do so. This is Tony. Do it! <laughs> ah, but, uh, he said butter. Butter. Uh, I like butter. Yeah. I like butter with nuts. But we're going to give it just a moment. See if we can get a couple folks in here. Butter. Um, butter. We've got uh, two BAM boxes. Uh, one of them is a Geek. I've, I've already, we've already opened the Geek, so it's just going to kind of be a recap. But the uh, BAM Horror and the, the Metal. Yeah, um, we got a special one. Today. Yeah, this is a new one. So this is something we usually don't do, yeah. but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Yeah. So we've got some folks uh, starting to watch now. Like I say, we I've already looked in this, so I've taken the scratcher out of it. But we're gonna start with the Geek. Um, and the uh, we'll do the horror next, and then you call me horror. -er. How about that? Is that better? I'll be listening to that stuff while I'm in my nudity. <laughs> Is it in his so don't even worry about it? Yeah, but uh, I will say this I've, I've seen the, the geek geek box, it was actually it was, it was not bad. Just want to let everybody know that we're sponsored by IT, <laughs> IT, IT, yeah. IT. yeah. so. It's, it's uh, just lime. Yes, it it's is. lime. It's lime that. ite. Because yeah. I feel ite. Yeah. But uh, the pen, let you look at that first. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> I'm not a pen guy, but it is pretty funny. No, nah, there's pencils all over this damn thing in here. Huh? Because you don't like pens. Oh, yeah. Pens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same joke I've been doing for the last two years. No. Come on, man. Yeah, this, oh, you, might, you might like that. It's all pie head. I believe that's is that Harry Potter. That's okay. Harry Potter. Yeah, you got the you got the glasses and the yeah. lightning and the bolt little, and the and the wand and the wand and now the color this and the it's got some weight to it. Look how heavy that thing is. Oh yeah, dude, that's solid. Is that? It's uh oh my god, I know what it is. Not it's Bemo. Yeah, it's Adventure Time. It Bemo. Bemo. I know. <laughs> Yeah, that thing's actually uh, uh, pretty heavy. Got a little shininess to it. We got new lights, so we're still adjusting that whole situation. Yeah. Bella back here behind me is getting the blunt of the uh, shininess. So is this whole side of my face. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be suntan by the time we're done with these couple of weeks videos. Oh, Bemo's down. You know what? I think I know what that is. What is it? I think that is um um oh my god, what's his name? Um, you don't know it either. No, it, I'm oh, for, oh stupidness I'm happening right now. Uh, no, I believe that is one of the characters from um, Mad Max Fury Road. I'm pretty sure that it is not 100, but it looks like one of the characters. Pretty sure that it is. Yeah. Now I know my Mad Max. I was actually, you know, most of the stuff that we get in the geek geek box, I I just straight up sell. Like I rarely ever keep anything. This was one that I'm 50 50 on. I liked this movie a lot when I was growing up. It's him. Yeah. It's who I, who I said it is. So that's sweet. we got the outsiders and we got a signature. I believe it's what C. Thomas C. Howell. Thomas Howell. I've got to meet him. And so, I, I have I actually oddly enough have outsider stuff that signed. And what's what's I don't nice, think you were with me when I did that. I don't I don't I got to meet I got to meet C. Thomas Howell and Ralph Macchio and it's a uh it's yeah, a I definitely sign. I definitely wasn't there because I don't I would have remembered uh Kid. Yeah. 
What the hell did you say? Credit kid. Oh, I thought you said crane kid. No, credit kid. I mean, it is that he does. Well, you know. And it sounded like you said you just yelled out crackhead. <laughs> I remember it, crackhead. I remember that crackhead. Ah, yeah, yo, Ralph Scratch Nose. Yeah. But you know. I just punched myself in the teeth with my own damn ring. Uh, it's the original Mad Max. Really? No, 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 no. Original Mad Max debuted. Need your glasses, Grandpa? Yeah, it was Mad Max Fury Road. You're right. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to know my Mad Max stuff. Right. See, I know. I didn't watch that. So, Tony got his uh, box in before before me, so Ooh. I haven't seen, uh, seen any of this stuff. So. It's open. So let's see what hey <coughs> food stuff. How's that I? It's I <coughs> got some of them um chili roasted uh got pistachios. Them, got them nuts in his mouth. Woo, it got caught in the throat hole. Well typically when you put them nuts in the throat hole, they Choke you up, right? You're supposed to say when you put them nuts in your mouth, they get stuck in the throat hole. Come on. Oh, there you go. That's just... close enough. Damn, you can't enough. even do that right. Bam! <laughs> Shit, my hands are clean. Okay. Uh... I know who that is. I bring the pen out right off the bat. I like the pen. I love the pen. Your favorite thing. I hate the pen. Or I hate pens. I like this character. It's not a character. It's a director. No director. And a writer. He's and still you're, a character. You're a character. He was a character. Uh, I loved Alfred Hitchcock so much. He, he, I got him on the he, wall back here. He, did, he loved Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Hitch. Actually, pretty good likeness of it. Uh -huh. that's, that's a very good one. And he's got a bird. Well, he's a bird. Or as my daughter would say, bird, bird. I'm sure she's probably going to be watching at some point. I like this. I think it's a really cool piece. And we're just going to put that over there. <laughs> you don't get to see it. Uh, I know exactly what it is. It is a it's a handprint from the Invisible Man. It's on a piece of, I'm guessing, plexiglass. That's what it looks like. Yeah, but it's uh, supposed to look like it's on you know glass like the shower door, fogged up. It's like psh, high five. There it is. That's actually really cool. I like that. Put that right on. Throw up on myself, I guess. Pretty sure that that's Buffalo Bill. At least that's what it looks like to me. So I man. straight up thought it was Sam from uh, Supernatural. Yeah. I'm, but yeah, I can I can see that I'm now. Pretty sure I mean, I can't see his nipples. You don't have nothing tucked from talking about you know doing himself or anything. But yeah, but I'm I'm pretty. And sure. if it was, mm, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Well, but, I guess I guess we'll find out here in just a little bit. Oh yeah. What number is that to? Five hundred. Five hundred. That's the upgrade, yep. probably. Yeah. If it's the 500, it's an upgrade. So cool. We got an upgrade. Uh, I really like that. And I'm. Is that the cell? Yeah, it is. That should be the uh, um, Vincent D'Onofrio. Because when he. Yeah, because he, he was the inside the mind black bad guy thing. The demon of the cell. Yeah. That's actually pretty That's cool. Pretty good print. I like that. I like the color of it. Yeah, it's pretty good print. Of course, it's always signed by the artist, wherever my fingers are actually at. So cookies are done. Well, this is... <clears throat> that's cool. I like that. Since this is your box and I hadn't gotten mine in, you want to do the autograph? Because that'll be... Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, you got a clue. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know what movie it's from. <clears throat> It's in cities. Uh, Pretty positive. I think I think that's two. I think it's in cities too. Well, I mean, I'm just saying the franchise. Yeah, because yeah, I don't remember this at all in one, so this has to be two. 
because it looks yeah, it's chapter two. Is it chapter? Okay. So the sign is what is the the name? I don't. I can't read the name because it's it's a very nice handwriting. But so if I, you're gonna have to give me some minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah. He can't read. I need to sit back over there, dude, because every time I do something, I'm constantly going this way, and I'm backwards of everything. Anyway, here we go. Man, I'm not seeing the name. Holy Mary, Mother of Jehovah. Wait a minute. Daniel? That sounds about right. That's a pretty creepy looking little pick. I like that. Yeah. Let me see. It is Buffalo Bill on that uh, card. Is it? Yep. Loser. Does it sell from the art print? Um, yep, 2000s sell. Yep. That's a pretty good box. What is her name? I'm, just, I'm Which, drawing all you know, kinds of blanks. Here. I'll be honest, you know, the. It's like her name is like somewhere right here. Oh yeah, Danielle Bissut. Danielle Bissut. Well, I tell you, probably what, French. What I, I don't know. B i s u t t. Bissut. What I like about some of this bound box stuff, they're they're actually getting into some of the, the autographs that you don't really see very often. Yeah, right? I Mel, mean, I, like, yeah, I love getting stuff that I don't already so, have, which is awesome. And it's back at certified. Oh yeah. We got the back end on it. You scratch now, you're gonna scratch that later. I'm gonna scratch. I'm gonna scratch it all. We're gonna see if he won. I never win nothing, so I I, I've never won. I'm, I'm, I'm I've seen, won. I've seen people win though, so I know that somebody's winning. It just ain't been me. What's up? Celebrity sign. All right. Amazon dot no nope. so more than likely not not win. No specific uh, story. Nope. Come on, God. This. All right, mofos. Yeah. Well damn, just crumple it all up. It's all right. I don't keep my shit nice and neat. Swear to God. Damn five all right, everybody. We got some special stuff today. Yeah. Now Yeah. Zobi. Yeah. We've done some Zobi box and Zobi it's stuff been, before. It's and been a minute. I think the last time we did that was at uh, Jersey. Yes. The uh, the um, Rudy Rudiger Jersey. Yeah. So it's been a it's while. Been, that was our that was our last year. studio. So yeah, it's been at least a year. It's not longer. Oh, it's been longer. It's so, longer. Oh yeah, it's been it's been at least two years. Now I I like <clears> Zobi, but. Uh, he does similar things of what what I'm trying to do, so I don't really buy just a ton of the stuff. Blood. But he uh, he actually really went out and done something totally different. Yeah, this is one of the first ones of these I've seen. I don't think I don't really know if anybody else is doing this. Now, I have if, never heard of. If y'all do, let us know. Because, uh, you know, I'm a metalhead. Scotty's really not. He likes the music, but he don't like the music. So. I like a couple of the songs. But, yeah, that's why I'm not in horror shirt this time. Usually, you, you guys, I, I have a horror shirt for every individual video that we ever do. Um, literally different shirts because I have too many shirts. But I'm wearing this particular one. In respects to Brother Dime, yesterday uh, was 16 years ago. Uh, he got shot on stage. Has it been that long? I can't believe it, man. Yeah. But uh, here's to you, Brother Dime. Get your pull. Yeah. But we're going to do the metal box. Blue and, Duck, uh, I don't know where everybody's at tonight. Where you at? He's like, I'm at home, sitting in my chair, watching y'all stupid idiots. <laughs> but, yeah, they, uh, they they went far far beyond with this one, I think. Uh, the value in the box is yeah. way more than yeah. I believe the box is worth. We I, watched someone else unboxing of this. So 
we don't know which of the signs and stuff that, that we got, but we kind of know what the autographs are going to be. Yeah. So, so like they're supposed to be, they let you know that there's two autographs per box. There's actually three in this box. Yeah. And uh, two of them are the Beckett certified and one of mm -hmm. them is Zelby. Yeah. And then there's like a, a like an art print and it could be one of four different ones. And then the main signature could be one of four different. Uh, yeah. Same guy, different one. Now, the, the art print can actually be one of two different people out of four four choices. But uh, yeah, we're digging it. I'm opening it. There's a whole bunch of junk on my knife. I must have killed something. But uh, this, uh, we have an idea. I mean, we know what's in the box just because we watched the video, and that's yeah. why we bought the box. Yeah, that's the but, main main reason. Well, there's one of the the bands I actually do like, and and this is the main reason why I bought it. Um, and it was well, I guess we'll show it to you. Here just a second. See, he he didn't tell me. Uh, what all of it was in it, and I, 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 curiosity finally killed the cat on that one, and I had to, uh, had to go check out a video and see what it yeah. is, and I was like, man, I can't pass it up, yeah, because uh, well, well, it was forty bucks, forty bucks. So I think with shipping and handling, yeah. it came up to like fifty dollars and twelve cents or something like that, forty cents. Yeah, which I tell you what, what, while you're getting into that, I'm gonna check see if it's still available. Um, I checked it a couple days ago and I think it still was. Yeah. I know I got a we we uh told a couple buddies of ours and they went and got them. But um yeah, Zobi, it's uh called Zobi Goes Metal. I'm about to throw this phone. Zobi Goes Metal, and I believe they call it the new metal box. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking it up through Zobi, it'd be Zobi Goes New Metal, and that'd be in you, not like in E W. And it's got some some wide flaps on it. It is it is actually sold out now. Is it sold out? Oh man, yeah. I was actually thinking about maybe picking up another one. The, va the value is there. Oh yeah. So this that is this thing's got some wide flaps on it. She said, "You should date a girl like that." Oh my God, it's paper. It's thick paper though. Oh. oh. All right. Well. They've got well, every, the, everything in a. The item that I wanted is in there. So. Oh yeah. That's that's a plus. Cool. They got everything kind of individually wrapped in like little bags and stuff. So the first thing we're gonna pull out. So it looks to be pretty much the same thing that I seen. Yeah. The other day. So that would be. Sorry, I'm going to cheat a little bit here because I'm not familiar with it. Mendenhall Experiment. Now, I actually have heard of these. this band. They are sponsored through... Um, well, I think it says Monster. Monster, yeah. The Mendenhall Experiment. God, where do I... That's a five-person five sign. Yeah. That's not bad. It's car. It's not an 8 by 10 but it's cardboard, but it is, uh, it's certified through Zobie itself. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about this is that what is he he's signed over his face over his face he, everybody else signed on hey, their shirt everything that i don't like about it is this dude's face i can't stand that dude's yeah. face that uh well he just wanted to make sure that that was that was him and apparently this dude his heartbeat is still going so I mean, yeah. that's, that's what it looks like anyways man that dude looks familiar actually anyway getting into it broke that Look at that. Where are we going? Not too much crap going on. Here we go. Mid and Hall experiment. And they're all um all of it signed. I mean they everyone signed across the t-shirts here, except for this dude. He decided to sign directly on his face. I don't know about y'all. That bugs the crap out of me. But it's still cool. Still something that'll go up into the to the uh, collection of stuff. You see, I got a, I have a huge collection of horror stuff, but one of the reasons I got this is I have a decent sized collection of uh, music stuff as well. Yeah. I have, you know, some signed CDs, some other signed things of um, 
oh, let's see, Cradle of Filth, Fister, American Sharks. What's that chick band? Uh, uh, Hailstorm, stuff like that. I got a crap ton of Crowbar. No. So, but I, I bought this box just because I wanted some more stuff to put into my collection. The main reason why I ended up purchasing this and I ended up calling Tony. Are oh, you just going to blow that one right oh, out? Oh, dude. Right you, off the top. This one, the one I've got to. This just, I mean, she's got to. I, I like Five Finger Death Punch. And this was signed, let me get that a little closer, by Jeremy Spencer, uh, the drummer. And of course, it is JSA. Uh, certified, and like I say, this box was forty dollars. And this, yeah. the main reason why, I, main reason why I bought that uh, was was because of that. I wonder if this is actually the brand of sticks he uses. Now that I don't know. Schmack. Yeah. Now, it's a good stick. Here's a little story I'd like to tell about. Yeah. So now we got. All right, here we go. And there was what one, two, three. There was five items in the box. I'm gonna put that up there. See, we got. There's just five. Yeah, there's another one over there. That's why. So the art print is actually. It's a metal. It's metal. metal which is metal. Yeah. Which, which is, is pretty cool. kind of kind of neat since this is metal yeah. music. So that's pretty pretty badass actually. Oh, that's like like sealed, sealed, sealed. So that's cool. But uh, I know exactly who it is. It was one of two people. It's either going to be uh, Wayne Static or I believe uh, a Slipknot. Yeah, a different version of Slipknot. There were two different Slipknots and a and a Wayne Static, and uh, we got the Wayne Static one. If I can actually get it up here where we can see it, because I'm used to being on the other side of the table. No. But yeah, that's actually really cool. Like I said, it's it's metal. It's metal. All right. Now the uh, it also come with a guitar pick, but this guitar pick was supposed to come from the personal collection of Doc Coyle. Uh, I don't really know who that. I, do you have any idea? There's a good possibility I do, but by name itself, I don't know. But that's still pretty pretty badass because that's out of his personal collection stuff. Yeah. So I mean that's so like I say that was the back of it. Oh dude, is that I don't have any idea. That's totally Dude, I might not be wrong about this, but I think he's the guitar player for Bad Wolves. Didn't wasn't Bad Wolves the one that just redid that song here a while back? Um. Oh, what was it? <laughs> yeah, is that wasn't that Bad Wolves? Yeah. Have you heard that yet? The from the they he, they redid the uh, Cranberry song, oh. Zombie. Uh, and it was, she she ended up dying before they were able to because they were I guess they were supposed to actually record it with her like oh, she was okay. supposed to make a guest appearance on it and that's when she passed away when they were fixing to do it so they went ahead and did it in her memory maybe I have heard it yeah I'm pretty sure that's the dude I gotta say guy the name sounded familiar but I'm pretty sure that's the dude from Bad Wolves yeah but okay let's see what we got uh, I guess it'd be the last the last piece oh that's cool. It. So that is, is it Des? Des for Via? Something like that. Uh, Feferi? Feferi? I can't, I can't yeah. say his name. It's the uh, lead singer of Cold Chamber, and I do believe he's with Devil Driver now. Right. So, but that's JSA certified. If I can actually get it in here. Dude, this signature reminds me of a lot of uh that's pretty badass the kid that played the michael myers and rob zombies house. oh um uh, oh man you had to say that too 
I'm, I'm, anyway, there's your I'm drawing a blank. Oh, I know, I know exactly what who you're talking about, but I for the life of me can't remember. He's, it he's got a. Yeah, he, that's his, his his. It's very it's very similar. His, his signature looks almost the same. But um, oh my goodness, I'm gonna lose my mind now that I don't remember what that kid the name is. I'm gonna have to look it up, dude. Straight up, look it up. But you know this this uh, little mystery box, which wasn't a big mystery because we kind of knew. Yeah, we kind of cheated and yeah, we seen we, the video for it. I, first we seen we seen the stuff oh, that it was coming in. Oh, so. yeah. But, but yeah, the drumstick alone, man, that's that's cool. Because I mean, I like popping a man. Because I, I actually went and looked it up. The drumstick itself has got confirmed sales of like 50 plus dollars. So you pay $40 for the box. I mean, the Dern. Did you just say the Dern? Yeah, the Dern, the Dern. The Dern, the Dern thing, the Dern, the Dern. Yeah. Dern. <laughs> well, my kids at home. Try not to cuss. My Dern. Dern, Dern, Dern. Uh, I forgot what I was looking up. The, your, is it Dak? Dax. Dax. Dax Riggs? No. No, that's a uh, lead singer of. I love how my brain just stops working right in the middle of sentences sometimes. Dax Riggs, I believe, is the singer and writer of Acid Bath. Mm, I guess I need to go. Yeah, you need to go. But for the value of the box, that one item is worth more than what you paid for the box. And I'm assuming that, shit that the uh, I don't know if if my phone wasn't just going as slow as it can because it knows we're on air. Dag, Dag French, yeah, Dag French. But his signature is like pretty close to that because i've had i can't tell him many autographs from dag yeah i've got i've got several because i've gotten a couple from him personally and then i think we've gotten some in some boxes yes yeah yeah i got a ton of them in some boxes like i had at one point in time when i got that fire cell i had like seven knives from dag from bad box really yes i sold all of them though but yeah, I mean, uh, you can't beat it. Forty bucks, dude. I mean, you, you got over two hundred bucks at least worth of stuff in here. I'd probably say buck fifty. That's well, big. I've had Glenn said he's looked up the, some of these um, drumsticks, and there, there's they've had a couple of compare themselves of a hundred bucks. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like I know that when I looked at it, there was with the JSA. I know some sold for fifty, and one sold for seventy five. Yeah. So you pay here's the four different pictures that you could have could have gotten with it. Not the uh, obviously the the uh, drumstick. I can't remember words, man. And then I think but the drumstick's why I bought mine. Yeah, there you go down there at the bottom. If I can get my turn in my hand right, there's the uh, different slip knots. There it is. Boom. And then the one the sponsored by Monster. Yeah. It's got the Zobie. Uh, it's got the Zobie thing. I'm say, so you're still getting three different things that got yeah. a uh, certification with them that they are what they are. Yeah. But yeah, I like, I like the guitar pick, man. That's pretty cool because I, I have a couple uh, picks yeah. from actual stage shows. You know, back when we was able to go to stage shows and we could do that. You remember 2019? Y'all thought it was shit, didn't you? Yeah. I'd Look take at me now. Yeah. I'll take 2019 any day of the week. Paper. But yeah. I think we had pretty good. I ones. think I was still getting food in 2019 and I'll gladly go back. Six to or 17 time. times? Well, no, I'm not getting food no more. I want all that. He's like, uh, bankruptcy. No, sir. No. 
he didn't do that. But if they continue to keep doing this type of stuff, oh yeah, I probably I'll probably buy a box every so often just to. Well, they have them. Just a regular metal one, I do believe, because they had one in October. Did they? Uh huh. But this is new. But like, yeah. this isn't a this isn't a thing that they've been doing for a real long time. No. Um, but I actually I so looked good. I looked to see if they still were doing the uh, or still had them, but they did sell out. Finally, unfortunately, um, I probably should have bought a couple more than what I did. I thought about because uh, I I did buy. To potentially resell the majority of it. Um, what's up, Hemlock? Yep. What's up? What's up? But we've uh, we just got done opening up. I'll I'll show. Like, I'd say the main reason why we're here. We just want to play with that and jump second. I do so bad. But we can't uh, whistle a note, can't carry a tune, but he wants to hold a drumstick. That is what it is. Say, well, let's just do it this way. Well, this is what we just got done opening up. We had the Zobi Metal. Um, it had an autograph of Dez from uh, Cole. Was it Cole, Cho Cole Chamber? Cole Chamber. Uh, but you he also say Cole Choker. Man, words can't use them right. I now. know. I can't for nothing, dude. Yeah. Uh, now the Jeremy Spencer was the main reason why I bought it. Was he was a drummer for uh, Five Finger Death Punch? But it also had a. Oh my gosh. He can't put. He's so used to putting nuts in his mouth, but apparently he can't put them nuts in his mouth today. Mm -hmm. uh, well, but it also, it also had a, uh, a guitar <laughs> pick. I struck on my foot. <laughs> Did you just eat foot nuts? <laughs> um, <laughs> Is it good? Some good ass foot nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Get the full, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I can't stand foot nuts. <laughs> I can't stand I'm just spitting nuts all over you. Did you just spit your nuts up? It's in my nose, dude. Oh, it's chili roasted. Okay. The hell I ain't got nothing on this shit. <laughs> Quit making me laugh. I'm gonna throw it up. <coughs> you better not throw it. You keep that shit in. What she said. <laughs> oh, Talk about Lord. Yeah. Hey, I gotta, hey, get, hey, I gotta, I gotta get some more ice. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Do a little bit of ice. A little bit of that ice. Yeah. Well, we ended up opening a couple of uh, oh. damn boxes. One horror, one geek. Oh. Uh, <laughs> dude, are you doing it like that uh, like <laughs> mad TV? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord hey we've been bored all day man we ain't yeah. got nothing to do we're probably man. just gonna stay on for another couple hours just for the hell of it no we're not because i've got a bunch of stuff i've got to ship up yeah, say ship plug no ship did you ship the bed uh no i shipped my pants you might have shipped your pants i did one time Yes, I sent shipped, them sent them away I, somewhere. I shipped you some draws one time. Did you? Yeah, remember I handed you Linnea Quigley's oh, draws. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I shipped them right to you. Sniffed them good. But uh, I. we've also got, I'm wearing a, a Krampus shirt today. We've got a, uh, a uh, haunted house is going to be opening this Friday, Saturday, and then the following Friday, Saturday. Here in Jonesboro, Arkansas, um, mm -hmm. it's going to be a Krampus theme. We're also going to have a uh, scary Santa, uh, clowns, elf type uh, some elf? creatures. Elf type creatures. Yeah, we need some presents with legs. That would be. We've got time. We have I the can, technology. I did. I got ideas. We can make it. I mean, nothing like an RC car that has spider legs, but sitting inside of a present box that just drives around. <laughs> got ideas, baby. Boom. No, I got off a, the dome. I got, a, I got a big enough box. We could make a costume out of it. Yeah. That's yeah, science. It may work. Yeah. 
but we're going to be opening that up. So if, uh, if you see this before in the next couple of weeks, uh, come check us out. Uh, we're going to open up about eight o'clock. Um, we've got a really cool, uh, Krampus, uh, costume. We actually, on one of the lives, a couple of, yeah, he came and visited back, us. Yeah. So not creepy or nothing. Yeah. It was pretty good. But we, well, we're going to be open to what the 11th and 12th and then the 18th and 19th. That's correct. Yeah. So that's Friday and Saturday, Friday and Saturday. Yeah. So if you've got time, you're in our area, come check us out. Uh, and if you haven't uh, subscribed to our channel, we do, do a, it. We do a lot of, uh, do it. We do a lot of horror related stuff. A lot of crap like this. Um, here for too long. I'm going to be hopefully oh. getting ready for our, uh, horror. Uh, extravaganza yeah the uh for trans world gonna be getting, oh. getting ready for for all of uh the halloween and attraction show oh, i thought you were talking about the um the big video we're gonna do here shortly you have to remind me because i don't remember oh the fire cell yeah it's gonna be <sighs> i forgot that i had bought a bunch of boxes oh yeah and like i said it's gonna be the extravaganza yeah, I bought like 50, 50, 50 boxes. boxes. And we're going to open them all up live here. Yeah, Sunday, no. Sunday, Sunday, no. or another day, whatever it comes not, in. Not one, five, five, oh. There's, there's roughly how many boxes in yeah. okay. And then we have extra ones, too. Yeah. Who's that, Roger? That's Roger. Let's add him. Hey, Roger. Man, I was supposed to let you know we're doing a video. So. <laughs> and he went off. He says, and he's guys. gone. He said, yeah, "Yeah, screw you guys. I'm gonna stay hey, right I'm here." I'm, I'm tired of y'all not calling me. <laughs> uh, we'll probably do it's middle of the one. week. I didn't think you were gonna be here. Anyway. So, we uh, he's online, so who knows? Yeah. He ain't, you ain't asleep. You ain't you ain't napping, sucker. But. That's pretty much all we had for tonight, y'all. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. What we got? He's got a yeah. little late homie. What's that mean? You got another hey, kid on the way or something? That's, that's kind of what it sounds like. You got a little late homie. Yeah. Oh, I, I know what it means. Oh, okay. It's a little late. Yeah. Well, hey, you know what, man? You can still hurry up. You come on over. We got another couple, couple more minutes. You just get in the truck and take the ball and chain off and <laughs> roll it on out. Roll out. Ooh. Anyway. But all right, y'all. I'm going to get on off here. Uh, Ooh, that's nasty. I'm a, Whoa, what's that? Ooh. That's kind of what it sounds like. All right.
Well, we I don't on? know. We still on? Yeah, it's still on. We still have oh, okay. them? Yeah. So, like, I don't hey, know hey, what. Uh, hey, I'm watching us right now. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. But, anyways, we're going to get on off here. So. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we don't know what happens. So, yeah. We got cut off somehow, but we're back because yeah. we're the monsters. But we are getting off here this time. For real. So, hey, you got cut. Where are we at? It. it. Out. All right. All right. We'll holler at y'all later. All right, everybody. Stay spooky. Yeah.